So Lyft just launched this robo taxi service this past week as I'm launching this video out here in Las Vegas. And they've been working on this for quite a few years. I'll drop the link below so you guys can go ahead and check it out. They did this partnership with uh, Motion, Motion Alls and Lyft. And then also they're talking about Hondas and Hyundai. Hyundai. So for the last four years, they've been testing this out. And this time around, they're actually allowing just anybody get onto the Lyft app. There's a certain place you go and then you can actually book a robo taxi service. I believe it's a lot of them are close on the strip. Right now, what they're doing is they said they've done over 100,000 trips. And right now, there's actually somebody that's going to be there that's going to be manning it while they're kind of like launching this out so this is a soft launch but by 2023 they said it's going to be fully meaning like robotic there's not going to be a person there because they've tested this so much over the last handful of years now thinking about this and like where society is going it reminds me of kind of like the internet right when it first came out it was one of those things that eventually had to progress and then the masses started to adopt it as the years gone by and i really see that for for this and this is kind of like pausing a question like are people still gonna rent vehicles out here in Las Vegas? They did a poll in 2019, 42 million people came into Las Vegas in the year of 2019. That's a lot of people in this city, all the money that's being poured in and out. And I was getting statistics that an average of five to 10 million people a year, they, in Vegas, they're actually out here renting vehicles. So that's a lot. There's a lot of movement out here in Las Vegas. It's one of those cities that people fly into all the time. How do they fly in? It's the easiest tickets to get into. So when I'm always thinking about just what markets we're in and how fast we want to scale certain fleets based on the business models, that's why for me, it, it, it really just made sense to go out here and just scale a fleet. And there's a lot of great people or great fleets out there of people that are launching fleets that are doing great side hustles, three, five vehicles. And I've actually been looking around. There's a lot of people that have 10, 15, 20. There's people that have 50 cars on the platform out here in Vegas. It's a crazy market, but it's also one of those markets where it's, yes, it's competitive, but competition is healthy. Competition is good. Why? Because if you're willing to adapt, if you're willing to grow and build something and sustain something and learn the process and also create a cash flowing type of asset, a business, it's totally worth it. Yes, there's gonna be a lot of different challenges, headaches, You're gonna, there's a lot of learning curve, and that's kinda of like been our journey. We're running a fleet right now, as I'm looking at it, 24 vehicles, four of those are cash cars, 20 are financed, over 800 plus trips right now, as I'm looking at the numbers, on the Turtle platform for over 13 months. It's been amazing. We're a power host and just kind of like looking at this and just kind of seeing the vision of where this is going to go. I really believe this market is going to continue to grow even as the robo taxis are starting to expand. Again, by 2023, they're saying that it's going to be fully automated and they're going to start launching it. And they're not just launching it to just employees or a handful of people. This is like anybody can pick open the Lyft app and go drive or ride in one of these robo taxis. Now, thinking about this, is this something that might affect the car rental space? I think people like to get around, right? Get around from one place to another and they like the leverage. They don't like to order 40, $50 trips for just one way. They'd rather spend that amount for a car every day and have the leverage and flexibility and freedom. And that's why the car rental biz out here in this market, in Vegas market is popping, right? And again, I tell people, always look at your market, look at what other guests are doing. Turo's not brand new. Um, I know it just like launched out in New York, but it's not brand new. It's been out for over a decade. So they're out in a lot of markets all across the US. If there's people that are striving, hey, it's time. Put out a car, check to see and, and test it. And when you're starting, you don't wanna just get a car that you can't afford the monthly payment and you're relying on Turo. You always have to have that rainy day bucket, okay? That if it didn't get rented, you're still able to pay the car note. And again, there's so much to the business and all that. I actually have templates. I'll link that. It'll be the first link below. You guys can kind of see our processes, the templates, the things that we use to keep a simple business model and how we're going to scale it and how we organize everything. In business, a lot of it has to do with how well you're organized, okay? And you might not be great at organizing, so you hire somebody that can do that for you every day. And I'll give you guys those templates and those systems. But just kind of sharing it all, I think when it comes to just starting a car rental biz on the Turo platform. We're actually uh, doing another platform right now that I'm going to be dropping videos on. We're doing this on the car rental platform for Turo and, and launching that biz. There's a lot of risk to be taken. I mean, obviously it's a car, but once you start to learn the ins and outs of insurance and the risk tolerance that you have and just the mindset, right? 
I get it. There's some times where things just don't work your way and it's out of our control. And that's in any business. Any business, like you never know. One might just get a flood. There might be a tsunami comes and it floods the whole place or a pipe breaks and you know, there's all this thing that destroys the inside of a physical business. Businesses go through this. This is almost inevitable, right? It's how we push through when adversity comes. And what I like about building biz and especially when people are just getting started as a side hustle, you learn more about yourself than others. Anyways, I want to just share uh, all this stuff and where this is going. I thought this was interesting news. I want to kind of tie it with car rentals and Turo. If you guys are interested in stuff like that, feel free to tap in, sub to the channel. I just did a video on a day in the life of a Turo power host, so check that out. My templates are down below. Y'all have a blessed week. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.